Okay, so another one on the problem solving the end of your vector question. So I'm just going to draw a little diagram to see what's going on first. So there's E as the midpoint of BC. So if I imagine um, B and C being here and here, for example, it doesn't really matter where they are. E would be here. And the origin is here. So to get to OE, which is the position vector of that, I'm going to need to go to either O, o to B or O to C first. Let me just go O to B. And then I need a half of BC, so one half. I hope I actually write the half. Half B to C. Okay, I've got O to B. I just then need to get well. This is O B O C B O D. You know. Um. So O to E is equal to O B. That's a half of B O plus O C. Then I can just use the vector one. We've done a lot of this using position vectors to get displacement vectors. So five zero three plus a half of the opposite, so negative five zero negative three plus seven eight negative three. Okay, so O to E is gonna be so it's going to be 2, half of 2 is 1, so this 5 is 6, so add them together, half and add the 5. 8, half is 4, so that's going to be 4. And then that's going to be negative 6, which half to get negative 3, which when added to 3 gets 0. So that's OE. Could have done that in a couple more steps, but I was struggling a little bit for space for the second part, so I decided to just do some bit. I had not difficult math really. Okay, show that A, B, E, D is a parallelogram. So, again, another diagram. A, B, E, D, so it needs to go in a round, effectively. So it has to be A, then B, then E, then D in some rotational pattern. Now, I just need to show that any two of the opposite length vectors, effectively, so A, B would be equal to D, E, or vice versa. So let's see what we've already found. Uh, I don't think we've got any of the ones that are going to be relevant, actually, because we've got B to C, but C is not part of the parallelogram. So I'm going to have to start as fresh. I'm going to say that I'm going to try and find A, B, and show the vector is equal to D, E. I'm going to have to use D whatever I do, so there's no avoiding the fact that that, that might be wrong, but I should get balls through marks if it were wrong in the exam question. It doesn't matter about anything else. If that vector... It's the same as that vector. It means it's going in the same direction, so they are parallel. And if the vector is the same, the length is the same. So it must be um, at least a parallelogram. So that's plenty to show it's a parallelogram. Right, first of all, then AB. So that is going to equal to AO plus OB, which is going to be 3, negative 1, 1. I'll try and save a little bit of space now. Plus Oh, wait, that's OA, isn't it? Let's change the sign for AO. Negative 3, 1, negative 1. So we've got auto drive there. 5, 0, 3. So that's going to equal to 2, 1, 2. And then my other one, which is DE. It's going to equal to D to O plus O to E, which is going to be the opposite of that. So negative 4, negative 3, 2, plus 6, 4, 0. I guess this kind of checks part A as well, because if it doesn't work, then it could be the mistake there. And we're going to get the same vector. So I can say since I don't like this conclusion, I'm going to just clear off some space over here. I'm now not requiring, and I'll write a decent conclusion in one go. Um, oh, that's there. Ideal if I text, not got on what I'm using. So, since AB vector equals the vector DE, um, a, B, E, D is a parallelogram. Sometimes people can get bogged down 
with how easy it is to show its parallelogram and start trying to show lengths equal to each other and these ones as well, but we, we don't need any of that. It's just this case. And I think there's a good bit on it in the actual gap notebook as well.